In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create marble effect in three different uh, color combinations uh, and also in three different layouts. Uh, so first of all, we're going to start with creating our uh, background. I've already prepared three uh, tips here that we're going to need and uh, I'm going to apply uh, this color from Crystal Nails range, uh, cover number two. Not many people know that this is an actual color. Uh, don't uh, let the name uh, kind of mislead you. It is an actual gel polish uh, color. So I'm going to apply the, uh, this color on two of my tips. As one of them will be fully covered. So we're not going to need background for that one. Okay, so just nice and thin layer. You can see the coverage is really nice. I don't need a second coat. And another tip with the same color. Okay, and this one can go into the lamp as well. So we can start with the uh, tip that will be, the surface of the tip will be fully covered. Uh, so I'm going to need my palette and these are the colors that I chosen for my uh, first tip. Uh, the first color will be three step number 71 which is a deep purple color. The second color is three step uh, 104 which is like a powder pink color really nice. Uh, I also want uh, a little bit of black number three step 12 and a little bit of white three step 78. So I want the purple color to dominate uh, on this uh, in this design. So first of all, I'm going to start with uh, with this color. So we're going to start with applying some color on our palette. Just a blob of uh, the three step seventy one. Then I'm going with my black, just a small amount of black. I don't want uh, the black to overpower. Then some pink. Next is white color. And because I want my purple to dominate on this tip, I'm going to apply the purple again, just on the end of this uh, color selection. Okay, so I'm going to mix these colors together. To mix the colors, I'm using decoration needle, the sharp end of it, and we need to be very careful how we mix the colors. We don't want to over mix them, we just want the colors to kind of merge together nicely. So I start with pulling the colors together like this, and then just a little bit more in this kind of direction. Like I said, I don't want to over mix them uh, because if they're not mixed uh, too much, you can create a better uh, kind of result. Uh, I'm going to need a, a flat gel brush. I'm using Ombre Pro Brush from Crystal Nails. It has a, a flat and thin kind of bristles, which is perfect for this technique. So I can pick up my tip. And first of all, uh, to be able to uh, create a, this marble effect a little bit better, uh, we need a special product which will allow us to create a better uh, ombre, sorry, a better uh, marble effect. Uh, the product that I'm talking about is Water Pro Crystallac. This product allows um, anything that we apply on top of it to kind of uh, 
create the wet on wet technique uh, perfectly and with the marble effect um, the colors just kind of self leveling beautifully and merging together beautifully and uh, and uh, the result is much nicer we just apply a thin amount a thin layer just a small amount of water pro and we don't cure this uh, layer and on the wet layer of water pro we're going to be picking up these colors and applying on top so it's re really important how we pick up the colors and uh, which side of the color we pick up because if we want a little bit more purple we need to go on the purple end and if we want a little bit more pink or more white we go on that uh, side also okay uh, so i'm going to start from here i pick up on my brush like this and I start from the edge and we have to do it very slowly and at the same time I wiggle my brush a little bit okay can you see how the colors are kind of already spreading nicely so now I'm going to pick up from the white side and I can go from the bottom and again wiggle the brush a little bit twist it to create a better kind of marble uh, effect now i'm going to pick up from this side because i want a little bit of pink and i go maybe a little bit from the corner like that and i want some more purple and I go from the other corner now I just dust a few tiny gaps so I'm going to concentrate on those gaps Okay, so um, this is pretty much done. I'm just thinking maybe just a tiny little bit more color in this corner. Let it self level a little bit because the water pro uh, does the job for us. We just need to wait a few seconds. So the colors are kind of uh, spreading a little bit more and creating a better marbling effect. So we need to just let it uh, spread for maybe a minute or so. Okay, once you're happy with it, we're going to put it into the lamp. And make sure we cure it for long enough because uh, these colors are not uh, applied particularly um, thinly. So we need to make sure that we give it enough curing time for the light to penetrate through all the layers and all the colors perfectly um, to be able to uh, cure everything perfectly and so we don't have any shrinkage on the surface okay let's pop it in and while that tip is curing i can prepare for the next set of colors for the next set of uh, marble so my next one uh, will be uh, in the green shades so first first color will be three step 77 which is a deep emerald green next will be three step 61 which is a little bit um, like a teal color these two colors complement each other really nicely Next, I want 3-step 96, which is a little lime color. And I also want some white. I think white is a, a nice addition in most of the cases. It kind of breaks through the colors really nicely. And I add again a little bit of dark green on the end of it, because I want the dark green to dominate.
okay so this tip is now cured we can finish it off first and um, to finish it off I just want to use a tiny little bit of gold I'm using three step 116 just a small amount on my palette And we can add it in a few uh, random places just to make this uh, design a little bit more interesting. Uh, if by any chance there is a spot where you're not quite happy with or there is a gap between the colors, uh, we can add uh, that gold in there just to kind of cover it up a little bit. Maybe I will add it just here, just a small amount. And with a thin brush, I just pull little lines with it. Maybe just a tiny bit on top. I don't want to add too much. I don't want to cover my marble effect. But I think everybody likes a little bit of... Uh, Sparkle, so it can make it look really nice. Okay, I'm going to pop it into the lamp just for a flash cure. And with uh, the same color that I used uh, in my marble. Uh, the three step 71 I apply a little bit uh, on my uh, palette and I'm going to create a frame around this tip I think the frame can make it look really nice uh, and can kind of uh, complement the design so I'm using uh, zero long brush for this job And I create a frame around my marble design. I think the zero long brush is the best for creating uh, frames. Uh, because of it long if because of its long bristles uh, we have uh, control over the brush nicely and it's the way it bends uh, we can create nice and thin and long lines if you prefer to use zero short then of course that's your uh, personal choice and uh, if you find it more comfortable uh, to use a shorter brush then that's absolutely fine uh, everybody's got their own preference uh, I think that I can work a little bit better and faster also with a longer brush okay I think the frame really um, makes it look nice adds to the effect really nicely okay so I'm going to cure it now for another minute okay so this uh, tip is now cured uh, so now we can cover it with top coat just to finish it off I'm using cool top from crystal nails collection and um, I cover it with a thin layer to start with Make sure to cover the edges as well because uh, we need to cover the frame. And then before I cure it, I pick up just a small amount of top coat and I kind of run it on top of the tip just to add a little bit more top coat on top of this design to create a smooth surface. Uh, because uh, we were using bigger amounts of uh, gel polish the surface can be a little bit uneven so you want to make sure that you uh, make uh, the surface nice and smooth um, adding that little bit extra top coat on top of it 
Okay, so uh, my tip is now uh, curing, the background is now curing, so I can move to uh, my second uh, color collection. So I've applied them on my palette, now I'm going to mix them. Again, don't over mix it. If you mix your colors and you feel like you're missing something, it's, it doesn't have enough white or it doesn't have enough uh, light green, we can still add a little bit before we, before we start uh, applying on the tip. This is a really good uh, opportunity to kind of see uh, the real uh, marble on the palette. And we can still change the color, we can still add the color. Okay, so I'm, I'm happy with this one now. So uh, for the next design, I'm going to create like an irregular edge to my design. So again, I start with um, just a thin layer of water pro. Make sure it's nice and thin, like I mentioned already. Uh, the thinner the layer, the better. It allows us to create uh, a really nice marble effect without kind of overspreading of the product. And now again with the Ombre Pro brush, I'm going to pick up my colors. Pick up. And I start on the edge of my tip and I twist my brush. Okay, again, pick up the colors. And continue adding on the surface. Pick up. And uh, if the if you don't feel like the colors merged enough together, we can create a little bit extra marbling on the surface. I'm using zero long brush and I'm just trying to pull the colors together a little bit more. I'm going to marble them a little bit more. I think it looks already a little bit better. Okay, once you're happy, we can cure it in the lamp. Okay, so my tip is now cured. Um, so this product cures to a sticky layer and this product cures to a sticky layer. So we're going to use a, a gold leaf foil to finish this design and we're going to stick it to the sticky layer of the product. So we don't need any extra product uh, in between to stick the foil on. The foil is just going to stick to the sticky layer. And we are just using uh, a pair of uh, tweezers just to pick up uh, some bits of foil. It can be bigger and smaller bits. And now we are going to apply just a few bits on the surface just to finish off this design. So just uh, start with like a bigger piece. And we just pat it down. And now just a few smaller pieces too. They are hard to grab sometimes. Oops. And we are just finishing off the edge of the uh, marble. And 
make sure to uh, make it look a little bit irregular not too perfect okay uh, so once the file is on we're going just to pat it on even more to make sure that everything sticks perfectly to the surface and this doesn't have to go back to the lamp the um, the file is already stuck to the surface and now we're just going to finish it off with a cool top and create a nice and smooth surface again and cover the marble and cover the foil and protect it with the top coat okay and we can pop it into the lamp okay this uh, design is now finished also so we now have two that we've done uh, let's move to the third one uh, on the third one i want to use a uh, bluey greeny colors uh, so I'm going to start with my 3-step uh, 63. Next I'm going to use 3-step 61. A small amount of black, 3-step 12. And some white as well, uh, three step seventy eight. And again, I'm using a three step sixty three on the other end of my color spectrum. And we're going to mix. So pull the colors together. Don't over mix. Okay, I think that's enough. So we are going to start with just drawing a couple of lines on the surface. So I pick up just the very edge of my colors and I'm going to start from the center, pull it down. Like this, and then I turn my tip and I do exactly the same to the other side. So on this design, we're going to create like a negative space and the marble will be on the, uh, on the two ends, on the top and the, on the bottom. So first of all, we're going to start with the water pro uh, again. Make sure you just have small amount on your brush and we're going to apply the product on the bottom part and on the top part of the tip. Okay, now we can start with our colors. So we're going back to our mix and we pick up and we place it near the line and twist. Pick up again. Pick up. Okay, make sure you cover uh, all little areas so I have just a small gap here, I'm going to cover it now and now I move to the other side of my tip again. Pick up the colors while the uh, bottom of the tip is now mixing and merging together, we're going to work on the top part. Make sure to twist your brush when you're working with it. And I just want to cover this gap. Mm -hmm. I just feel like maybe the top is missing a little bit of white. So I'm going to go back into my white color 
and just add a little bit of white here and we're going to wait a few seconds for the colors to spread a little bit more and to create a better uh, kind of marble effect and if again if you have any more gaps that you want to cover I have tiny one here and tiny one here we can cover them with the detailer brush and just a small one on top okay once you're happy with your marble we can pop it into the light again I recommend curing for just a little bit longer because we're not using the colors really thinly. Now you can see all three uh, color combinations that I used. So uh, as you can see, I always try to use darker color uh, and the lighter color. And also I always use white because I think the white always breaks the colors nicely and creates a better uh, kind of um, uh, marble combination. Um, so I normally use about three to four colors in my marble as well. Uh, so a dominant color is normally the, the darker color, uh, then the, uh, the white, the uh, lighter shade and another color to kind of um, bring the effect more. Uh, like I have a pink here and a, light, um, a bright green here. So these colors will kind of pop from the surface of the tip. Okay, so this one is now cured. You can see streaks of uh, blue, streaks of white, and a little bit of green as well. I can put this back now. Um, if we want to add a little bit of uh, gold glitter, we can do that as well. So if there's any areas again that have uh, some mistakes or you don't feel like uh, the colors marbled nicely, uh, we can add just a few tiny streaks of gold to make it uh, look a little bit shiny, a little bit more interesting. Not too many, just a, a few tiny uh, dots of glitter. We don't want to cover up the nice bits, we just want to cover up the bits that don't look quite right. Okay, just a flash cure. And after we cure it, we can add uh, finishing touches to this design. Uh, I really like these kind of uh, stickers, they are from Crystal Nails range. They called uh, magic stripes, the uh, magic stripe stickers. Uh, we're going to need tweezers again to work with them. So we pick up one edge. We trim just enough uh, length that we need. And we place it on the surface. Press it down. So the stripes have different thicknesses. Some are, uh, some are a little bit thicker, some are a little bit thinner. So I think it looks really nice if we use uh, different thicknesses on the surface of the nail also. So I'm going to use the thickest one and the medium thickness one. See, it's that easy. But it really finishes off the design nicely. Now we're just going to use a nail file and just file off any excess sticker. Make sure you press it down a little bit just to make sure that the, uh, the sticker is perfectly sticking to the surface. 
when we apply it, make sure you stretch it a little bit because these are really flexible and they fit to any surface of the nail. We can even curve them, we can create curved surfaces. And now we have to cover the tip with the top coat to protect the color and to uh, seal the stickers as well. Again, I'm going to start just with the thin layer first. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit more on my brush and I'm going to apply an extra amount of top coat on this tip just to make sure that everything is perfectly even. Before we can put it in before we put it into the lamp, we can also turn the surface of the tip or of the nail if it's on the client uh, upside down. It needs to be parallel to the surface of the desk. And then we cure it in the lamp. Here it is. The last design is now cured. So you can see um, marble technique can be done uh, in different layouts of the nail. So it doesn't have to be full coverage. It can be half of the nail. It can be irregular shape. It can be created with negative space as well. So I'm hoping that you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked it and you're going to use it in your salon work. If you liked it, make sure uh, to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because there will be more videos coming. Thank you so much for watching.